don't convince yourself that what you're doing isn't extremely racist. How dare you? This is grotesque. A bunch of white people standing out in front of a Planned Parenthood, Christ shaming people. There's nothing Christian about what you're doing. Nothing Christian at all about what you're doing. That man is State Representative Brian Sims. He styles himself as just another advocate for women and Planned Parenthood, but he claims protesting that is both racist and sexist. Let's examine that claim. I'm Anders Hagstrom, and these are the facts. Planned Parenthood of Southeastern Pennsylvania. Uh, it's not only in my district, it's the most heavily protested Planned Parenthood, I, I believe, in the country. Let's talk about why that is. This particular Planned Parenthood has failed 13 of its past 23 health inspections. It failed to report an instance of child sex abuse, it improperly stored bodies of aborted babies, and it does not conduct background checks on its employees. There's a lot to protest there, even if you're not pro-life. For a company that claims to be devoted to the health and safety of women, it doesn't seem to be doing a very good job. And it's not just this branch. Planned Planned Parenthood has been lax on health standards and played fast and loose with sex abuse across the country. In New Jersey, a Planned Parenthood employee infamously helped someone she thought was a sex trafficker get an abortion for a young girl. A Virginia Planned Parenthood did the same thing, and then a New York City one. In Missouri, inspectors found mold and bodily fluid on equipment. In Ohio, Planned Parenthood has had 52 health violations in the past 10 years. The list goes on. But let's move to Brian's racism claim. Planned Parenthood's founder, Margaret Sanger, was a eugenicist. She believed that the mentally ill, the infirm, and the poor should be sterilized or segregated. And it just so happens that in Sanger's time, as well as today, black Americans are disproportionately poor. This led to Sanger's Negro Project, which targeted black communities for abortion and birth control, not because they were black per se, but because they were poor. And that holds true in Planned Parenthood's demographics today. 12% of Americans are black, but 30% of Planned Parenthood's abortions are in black families. And nearly 40% of black pregnancies end in abortion. Brian Sims is wrong. Protesting Planned Parenthood does not make you a racist, and yelling obscenities at women praying on the sidewalk does not make you a feminist. And now let's go to some of your comments about Bill Barr, the Attorney General, possibly being held in contempt of Congress. Don Hersberg, Hersberger, Hersberger, author of the Russia Investigation Report, Robert Mueller, says Barr did not misrepresent the report. This is true. Democrats claim that Bill Barr lied to Congress about the report, but then Barr testified in Congress, a sworn testimony, that he had spoken with Robert Mueller and specifically asked him whether he thought that Barr's own letter had misrepresented the Mueller report, and reportedly, Robert Mueller said no. It was, it was perfectly accurate, but he was annoyed with how the media had, uh, misconstrued the letter. He was not he was not annoyed with how the letter portrayed reality. Janice Hassan says no Barr did not lie. Also thought the rudeness of the congressional leaders were way out of line with their rudeness. They should have approached him with civility. See, there is no incentive to to approach uh, people in Congress with civility because they all know they're on camera and they all know they want to have that clip of them yelling at this person, yelling at the witness. This is why in my personal opinion, we should take cameras just totally out of Congress. The Supreme Court has it right. They are only an incentive to grandstand for politicians, and we should take them out because they're bad. Republicans do it, Democrats do it, everybody does it, and it's bad. Steve Cochran says, do people actually watch the Mika and Deliverance Boy program? Actually, yes. Like, it's one of the top five, I believe, shows in America right now. People love waking up to Morning Joe. I don't personally watch it. I watch clips when they say something stupid, which I guess that probably means I've seen every moment of their entire show. They've got a, they've got a unique sort of like a chemistry going on. And, it, and also there was that story, I can't remember where it was, maybe Politico. The filming of that show is super weird, how they're sitting on two different sets that are like five feet, five feet apart in, down in Florida because they don't want to live in Washington DC and MSNBC is just like totally catering to how they want to be. So I don't know, it's really funny, but you should look up that story, it's hilarious. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and share this video if you liked it and you want to share it. And also be sure to like us here at the DCNF Presents the Facts and our friends over at American Voices and The Daily Caller. And if you're watching on Facebook, you can like my page in the description. Thanks for watching.